contagious diseases in this chapter you will learn about disease causes of diseases communicable diseases non communicable diseases childhood diseases the spread of diseases and prevention of diseases though we eat healthy food we are prone to diseases i'll explain about it now causes of diseases some diseases are caused by microbes or microorganisms microbes can be viruses bacteria protozoa or fungi viruses are the smallest type of microbes diseases caused by viruses are polio chicken pox smallpox german measles rabies and hepatitis typhoid diphtheria tuberculosis cholera and pneumonia are caused by bacteria protozoa can cause amoebic dysentery malaria and sleeping sickness and some fungi cause skin diseases kinds of diseases there are two types of diseases non communicable diseases and communicable diseases non communicable diseases non communicable diseases are those that do not spread from one person to another some non communicable diseases are present at birth diabetes arthritis and heart ailments are non communicable diseases communicable diseases communicable diseases are those that can spread from one person to another influenza or flu common cold tuberculosis pneumonia cholera typhoid dysentery hepatitis chicken pox malaria are communicable diseases it is possible to prevent many diseases through vaccination most vaccines are given to children when they are very young hygiene hygiene may be defined as practices that help ensure cleanliness and good health good hygiene helps in preventing diseases following are some steps for maintaining proper hygiene we should have a bath daily it is also important to wash hands with soap and water before having food and after going to toilet we should take proper care of our eyes and ears we must take proper care of our teeth we must keep our surroundings clean the spread of disease diseases can travel through air water from person to person through direct contact through blood or other body fluids or through insect bites airborne diseases when the microbe travels through air it is said to be airborne for example tuberculosis waterborne diseases drinking water when polluted can lead to a whole lot of waterborne disease like cholera hepatitis typhoid and dysentery diseases spread by insects and animals some diseases like malaria are spread by the bite of mosquitoes when they bite a healthy person they inject the microbes into him dengue is also spread by mosquitoes the bubonic plague is spread by rats and rabies through the bite of dogs prevention of diseases the best way to prevent malaria is not to allow mosquitoes to breed near the places of residence spraying ddt and not allowing water to stagnate controls the breeding of mosquitoes by keeping the surroundings clean the spread of most diseases can be controlled many communicable diseases can be prevented and have been prevented by immunization how can we prevent them the list of preventive measures are all children from newborns to school going ones must be vaccinated against childhood diseases 
by giving them BCG, MMR and DPT injection. Surroundings must be kept clean and hygienic. Stagnant water must be drained off and DDT must be sprayed to keep mosquitoes from breeding. People suffering from contagious diseases must be kept in isolation. Persons attending on the patients can take common precautions. Items used by the patients like towels, cups and utensils should be kept separately.